This length of axon can be likened to a piece of fuse. The burning match under the axon represents an electrical event that generates an action potential. This event normally takes place at the axon hillock. Recall that to trigger an action potential, the electrical event must depolarize the axonal membrane beyond its threshold. That is, the membrane potential has to become positive enough to initiate the action potential, which is an all-or-nothing event. Once the membrane reaches that threshold, voltage-gated sodium channels open up and sodium rushes in, as reflected in the upward deflection of the membrane potential. But how is the action potential propagated down the axon? Look at the area just ahead of where the action potential has just fired. It is becoming more depolarized. A millisecond later, the positive charge associated with the first action potential has spread to an adjacent region of the axon. This area reaches its threshold, and this segment of axon fires an action potential. The area of axon that fired an action potential a millisecond ago cannot become depolarized now. It is refractory because its sodium channels are inactivated. In this way, the action potential propagates in only one direction, like a fuse. Now, two milliseconds later, the positive charge spreads to the next adjacent region of the axon, and it reaches its threshold and fires an action potential. The region of axon that fired a millisecond ago cannot be depolarized. It is refractory. The area of the membrane that fired two milliseconds ago has now returned to its resting potential, but it is too far away to be influenced by the current action potential. In this way, the action potential migrates, like the fire on a fuse, toward the axon terminal, where it is delivered to another neuron. Now let's watch the whole process at high speed. 